April 19, 2008. At the end of a groundbreaking six-month mission, NASA's first female commander, Peggy Whitson, undocks from the International Space Station and heads home. Peggy Whitson has now broken the record for the American female with the most hours in space, and she and her two crewmates, they're starting their journey back to Earth. Mission Control in Korolev, just outside Moscow, gives them the green light to begin re-entry. Just as the capsule enters Earth's atmosphere, it starts to shake violently. Smoke appears in the cabin. You got smoke in the cockpit. You don't know what it is. You don't know where it's coming from. There's not a thing you can do about it. This is a serious emergency. That capsule could break up at any moment. The spacecraft is out of control and picking up speed as it hurtles towards Earth. They're tearing through the atmosphere at 25 times the speed of sound. At that speed, the G-forces could do serious damage. Inside the Soyuz, the crew experiences eight times the force of Earth's gravity crushing their bodies. The uncontrolled flight also inflicts critical damage to the Soyuz heat shield. The outside of the spacecraft is heating up to in excess of 3,000 degrees. They've lost contact with mission control. The antenna has burned off. There's no sign of the capsule or the crew at the intended landing site. Mission control are extremely concerned. Publicly, the Russian space agency Roscosmos gives no hint of the potential disaster. Russian TV is announcing their safe return, another textbook mission. The fate of Peggy Whitson and the rest of the crew remains unknown until a farmer 250 miles from the planned landing site sees something in the sky. They hear a boom, see smoke in the sky, and then see a spacecraft seem to explode. It's the capsule. The heat shield separates, the parachute's deployed, but it still slams into the ground. Over three tons of capsule and crew crashes down onto the hard Kazakh plain. The farmers rush over expecting to find carnage. It could be a very grave situation. Incredibly, the three astronauts inside are badly shaken, but otherwise unharmed. It's remarkable to be able to experience that and then be able to get out of the vehicle and, and go home.